This is the craziest video I'm ever gonna film. So with the rise of TikTok, dropshipping has been coming back and that gave me an incredible idea. The idea to give away $100,000. If 10,000 people sign up to participate in this challenge in the first 24, all right, let's do this, 48 hours. In the first two days, if 10,000 people join, I'm going to up the prize pool to a quarter million dollars. Yo, what is up guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day and the clip that I showed you guys just now might make that even better. <laughs> Not only am I going to be showing you how you can do this challenge successfully, but I'm also going to be showing you how you can do it with zero dollars. It's free real estate. And of course, I'll be doing it myself so you can just follow along. Let's go. So I'm going to tell you what the challenge is and how you can complete it just in a sec. I would just like to introduce myself first. I'm Tristan and I'm going to be doing like e-commerce, side hustles and finance. So if you're into that type of stuff, please leave a like. That would help the algorithm as Graham Stephan would say. And uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. So here's how the challenge works. As you can see from the intro, he's giving away $250,000. That's a lot of money. So obviously not one person is going to be getting everything. And so the way that it's split up is that 40 people get $5,000 each and two people get $25,000. Now, the way you qualify for the $5,000 and the $25,000 is by getting a dropshipping store up to $500 in profit before the uh, month the challenge is over. Now, I know that some of you guys might not know what dropshipping is, so I'm just quickly going to go over that. So dropshipping is, well, you could say there are three parts to it. You've got the customer, your store, and then a supplier. So the way that it works is that you find a supplier. Now, usually you do this on like AliExpress because they're pretty cheap. You find a supplier and you find a product. What you do when you find your product is you make your own store with it. So you essentially resell the products for a higher price than what you paid for it. Um, so you'll be selling it for maybe two and a half, three times more than what you get it for from the AliExpress guy. So here's how it would go if you kind of put everything together. So your customer comes to your store um, and then they buy a product from you for maybe $60. You go to the AliExpress guy and you buy the product from him for $10 and then he ships it out to your customer. And so you keep $40 profit. It's the greatest at explaining things. So I hope that kind of um, made sense, but I'll be going through this whole process in the video. So hopefully you can kind of pick up, pick up on what it means. Um, but yeah, and it just in general, it's a pretty good business. Um, you can do it with a lot of money. You can do it with no money like I'm doing in this video. Um, so I hope you enjoy the content so far. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to leave a like, but I would appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, but let's get back to the video. So if you want to qualify for that $5,000 reward, uh, you have to get a drop shipping store up to $500 in profit before the challenge is over. That's doable. You know, I think a lot of people can do that. And then you got the $25,000 reward, which is like next level. So if you want to get that, what you have to do is you have to be one of the two people who make the most money with their store. Get your money, I'm not your funny. Now, of course, the $25,000 report is kind of out of reach for most people, but it definitely doesn't mean you can't get uh, your hands on those $5,000. So, like, everyone can kind of get a slice of that juicy bread. So, if you want to sign up for this challenge, I have left a link down below. Uh, if you click it, I will get your credit card information. Obviously, that was a joke. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, you click the link, you click the sign up button, and then you fill in your name and your email address, uh, your phone number, and then you go down below and you paste in your Shopify store, uh, and then you just click the submit button and you're pretty much in. So when you make your dropshipping store, you need to find a name for it. Now you can't just go with the old fashioned way, just pen and paper, and it, it works, definitely does, but a better way to do it is to go find a name generator. So Shopify has a pretty good one. So you go to Shopify business name generator and uh, you click the search bar and you type in anything and it'll give you a lot of good suggestions. 
I found a pretty good few name, few good names myself there. So I, I definitely recommend it. It's a good tool to have. So now that we found a name for our story, we can go create it. But there's one last thing we need to do first, and that is to find a product. Now, there are a lot of ways to do it, but I would say there are three main ways. The first one is going on TikTok. You search on hashtag TikTok made me buy it. Uh, it will give you a, a list of, of pretty good products which you can use. Uh, the second option you can do is you can go to YouTube and search up uh, Shopify winning products or dropshipping products October 2022. So you can find pretty good few products there. And then the last one is to go and find a paid service, service, which will give you a list of winning products with like videos and descriptions and everything ready for you. Um, but we're on a zero dollar budget, so I'm going to be going with the YouTube videos. Now I can't show you guys the process of making the entire store because this video would be like 20 minutes long and you know, it's not gonna be fun to watch. So instead I'm going to just show you the final result. I have left a link down below so that you can watch a video on how to make the store that I made. Um, so essentially you'll have the same store uh, and you kind of know what to do. So here is the store on desktop. You have the landing page. Uh, we have the wall clock as our feature product. Uh, you got some reviews under there. You know some badges, uh, things, subscribe to our emails, and then a footer. Uh, if you go to the product page, which is going to be what most people are going to be you know, going on to, we're gonna send them a link and it's gonna lead to the product page. And that's the most important part of the site. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks clean. You know, it's got very few colors. When you make a dropshipping store, you generally speaking will have three colors, white, black, and then one color of your choosing. Um, as you can see, the description isn't very like too long. It's, you know, it, it's a little bit long, but it does, you know, it's easy to read. It's got, you know, headers and everything. Uh, then we got some featured products underneath that. Uh, it's pretty important because when people buy something, they're in a buying mood, so they want to buy more. So you want to upsell them, and you can definitely earn a lot more uh, if you do that as well. So this is kind of what the store looks like uh, on desktop. And if we go onto mobile, you'll see that you know looks the same, a little bit better. I've made the store more optimized for mobile. You know, 95% of traffic actually comes from mobile, so it's pretty important. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it all looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, if you go to the products page... If you go to the product page, um, you know, you'll see the, the product, the price, obviously. The, it's every, so it's all the same, really. Not much has changed. Um, it's just the mobile version of it. So yeah, I mean, I think it looks pretty good and I definitely think we can, you know, make a few sales with this. It looks pretty clean. So, uh, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job with the store. So now that we have everything ready, the only thing left to do is to get people to the store so we can actually start earning money from it. Now, what people usually do in drop shipping is they run like Facebook or TikTok ads, but we didn't have any money. So I can't really do that. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Instagram. Now there's this thing in Instagram that you can do. You can buy like shout outs for $10, you know, $15. And then they post it on their page for maybe like 24 hours. Now in this challenge, I'm on a $0 budget. You might be too. So you can't just go and order a you know shout out on someone's Instagram page. So, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to reach out to a bunch of people within uh, the niche that we're kind of selling our product in. And then we're going to try to get like a deal. And so what I'm going to try to do with these uh, Instagram theme pages or you know, just pages is that I'm going to be trying to say, OK, like uh, if you post this, if you promote the product, you'll get 20, 30, 40 percent of the, the profits from the sale. And so that will get like free advertisement. 
And so the goal with this is just to do it enough to the point where we earn enough money so that we can order the product for ourselves and then advertise on TikTok by making organic TikTok videos. So you're just taking the product and you film the product and then, you know, you post videos with that. But that's kind of the goal with, with this. And then say that works out, you know, say we earn money from the TikToks, then we can also start advertising on Facebook and on TikTok as well. Uh, and then we can sort of really start scaling the whole thing up. We're just going to start with that, you know, initial $0 budget friendly uh, level. I will not be able to cover the uh, Instagram advertisement, you know, whether I got yeses or no, um, or, you know, the results from the store in this video. I'll be covering like the sales and all of that in the next one. Um, I got to get this video posted in time, you know, and the challenge is going. So um, I just got to get this video out. But I will cover that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll uh, see you next time. Peace.